Welcome to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. I'm Tony Guerra, pharmacist and author of the Memorizing Pharmacology book series, bringing you mnemonics, cases, and advice for succeeding in pharmacology. Sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Let's get started with the show. Okay, we're going to do some IV fluids mnemonics in five minutes or less. Um, You may have heard of the hypotonic hippo. I'll explain what that is, but I'm going to bet that you've probably seen something like this slide before where you see hypotonic and you see this water going into a cell and the cell lysing or exploding. Uh, You're going to see isotonic where water's going in, water's going out. It's about the same. And hypertonic where the water is mostly just going out uh, and it's causing crenation uh, which is the word for those skinny cells and creating those skinny cells so uh, again it's where is the solute the water follows the solute so there is more solute in the cell that's why it goes into the first cell and explodes it's an even amount in both cases so that's why it goes in and out in isotonic and hypertonic, it's, there's more solute on the outside. So the outside is the, the big one there. So what I've seen are images for hypotonic. You think of a hippo because it also has many of the letters of hypo. And we're thinking about the water going into hippo and making it large. The isosceles triangle is one where the sides are equal. And so we're thinking inside and outside the cell is equal for isotonic. And then you see what I did here. That's a skinny cell. A lot of people will talk about somebody who's a runner and how they're skinny because they're really hyper. But uh, in general, as a runner, uh, I'm not as much hyper as I'm just very consistent. So uh, again, skinny cell uh, is what you're going to see last. But let me give you something that's a little more tangible than even that. When you have just tap water, which has very little solutes in it at all, that's hypotonic to your body. You are isotonic yourself. Okay. And then we talk about the ocean. Uh, The ocean would be a lot like 3% saline, which we'll talk about in a minute. That's Ocean City, Maryland, uh, where I used to uh, go for summers or we'd go for a week in the summer. And the Great Salt Lake is below that. That has quite a bit more salinity than even the ocean. And then if you talk about the Dead Sea, that's probably about a third sodium chloride, uh, you can actually lay in it and you will float uh, on it. There's so much salt in there. So we're just trying to figure out what the middle is mathematically. And I know people don't like percentages and they certainly don't like fractions. And you betcha they don't like decimals over fractions. So 0.45% half normal saline is really 0.45 over 100. 0.9% sodium chloride is 0.9 over 100. And hypertonic saline is 3 over 100. And you could expand it out to 100,000. So you could get whole numbers with 0.225 and all of those. But the most important thing to know is that the middle The 0.9%, that's isotonic. 0.45 half normal is hypotonic. And saline 3% is hypertonic. D5W has something very similar where D5W, which is is 5% dextrose in water, uh, that's in the middle, that's isotonic. Hypotonic is 2.5% dextrose. And hypertonic is 50% is one example, uh, D50W. The important thing is that your middle is D5W, just as it was 0.9 for the sodium chloride. So here are a couple that we're going to look at. There's uh, not a ton here, but uh, on the left, hypotonic 0.45% sodium chloride and D 2.5W. In the middle, isotonic 0.9% NaCl, D5W. Uh, Lactated ringers we'll talk about. It's also ringers lactate. Um, Same thing, it's a synonym. And then albumin, 5%, so a colloid. Uh, And then 3% NaCl and D50W as hypertonic. We'll talk a little bit about what they're for. Okay, the first kind of key point is that if we have a hypertonic condition, that's when we're going to use a hypotonic solution. So 0.45% NaCl, half normal, 
we could use in hypertonic extracellular dehydration. In D2.5W, same thing, dehydration. We don't want to administer, though, with blood products. It will cause hemolysis. Okay, But again, a hypotonic solution for a hypertonic condition. With an isotonic solution, we have an isotonic condition. 0.9% saline is, you know, we could replace isotonic water loss. Okay. D5W, same thing, but we could also help with hypoglycemia, insulin shock, you know, dehydration certainly. But I recommend thinking it, of it as G5W or D-glucose instead, because it's just a, one of the enantiomers or mirror image of the glucose molecule. Lactated ringers or ringers lactate. Uh, this is for nausea and vomiting, burns. Uh, lactates, lactate is a base and buffers burns metabolic acidosis. So it's an excellent choice. So think of a firehouse alarm ringing when there is a fire and people get burnt. Albumin 5% is for hypovolemia, hypotension, hypoproteinemia, uh, to ascites. So we expect a loss of volume, right? That's what we're expecting this drug is for. So the AL from albumin for A loss and then the UM from volume uh, should help you. Al's barbecue for protein loss. So barbecue has protein in it. And ALB are the first three letters of Al's barbecue. And finally, albumin and ascites both start with an A. Last piece is the hypertonic solution, so for a hypo condition. 3% saline can be used for hyponatremic encephalopathy, traumatic brain injury, cerebral edema, hypoglycemia, certainly faster than D5W for D50W. And again, G50W or D-glucose, I recommend you re remember it that way. And then the hydra was a three-headed monster uh, from mythology. And so we have three pathophysiologic head issues, the encephalopathy, the brain injury, and the edema. Hopefully the hydra helps you remember it. Again, this is for informational purposes only and should not be relied on for medical advice. If you have a medical problem, consult a medical professional. Thanks for listening to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. You can find episodes, cheat sheets, and more at memorizingpharm.com. Again, you can sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Thanks again for listening.